Hi everybody, Juliana here at Woodbine Beach in Toronto. Woodbine Beach is the most popular beach in Toronto. It's located along the Lakeshore Boulevard at the foot of Woodbine Canyon and is part of Lake Ontario. This is a great beach, it's a great place to be in the summer, very beautiful, lots of biking, swimming, people on the jet skis. The beach is one of the hottest spots for the summer days in Toronto. Today we're going to try all the food in this area, all the best food, all the best treats. You can also enjoy a variety of stunning bars, restaurants, bakeries and local groceries along the Queen Street, where we will do our food tour. We totally understand we need to be safe, but we also want to support local restaurants, the food industry. So let's go eat! So, if you are coming to start the day and want to grab a delicious French pastry, sandwich and all kinds of desserts, you can make a stop at the Saint Patisserie. They are French-inspired patisserie and boulanger. They told me the most popular dessert is this milk chocolate and hazelnut cake and the croissants. They have also all kinds of coffee and drinks. Croissant for breakfast. Lots of filling. I tried a hazelnut croissant, which was very tasty. You can also find a very interesting croissant for breakfast or even for lunch at a Yum Croissant. They have all kinds of French croissant sandwiches you can imagine savory and dessert ones. Flavors range from a steak and ham and cheese to banana with Nutella, apple cinnamon or s'mores croissant sandwiches. They also make really refreshing drinks that go perfectly with a day by the beach. For this place I needed to get a bag of three at least. Very good size croissant, very nice sandwich. I think it's really worth for the price. For my savory choice, I tried the Montreal smoked meat, which was a little spicy, which I loved. Flaky, buttery, little spicy, very good. It adds Nutella and banana. The most popular dessert flavor is Nutella and banana. Very good. I also got the apple cinnamon, which in my opinion could have used a pie fill instead to give it a better flavor and texture. But anyways, I truly recommend this croissant place. They have a ton of flavors and it's really worth trying. Okay guys, so I have here my friend Richard today. He's gonna eat lots of food with me. Richard knows a lot about food and he cooks very well at home. He lives close by and he knows everything around, so he's gonna give you some tips as well. Are you excited, Richard? I am so excited, Julie. I know you planned out about five or six spots, breweries, yeah. bakeries, barbecues. Taste some good food. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Now that we've had some food, let's go have a nice cold beer. This place it has an incredible beat vibe. Beaches Brewing Company produces award-winning craft beer and food. The place inside is very beautiful with inspiration from beats from around the world and having the beer brewed on location also gives it a great atmosphere. 
brewed by the owner himself. Peaches Brewing Co. is committed to using fresh, local and artisan ingredients to create an unforgettable experience for our Toronto brewery guests. This beer I tried was awesome! For food we had an amazing artisanal Tofino pizza, completely covered with four different kinds of teas. That was a very tasty pizza, with a white sauce and an incredible dough. Another great place to get a nice beer on an amazing party is the Stone Lion. They have indoor and outdoor tables, but for sure, after a day by the beach, there is always a lineup to get a spot in the patio, Caldwell style, where you can find from handhelds to mains and a large drink menu. So we're here at Goodbye Beach, we have lots of food. Enjoying the day. Now I'm gonna have a beer. It's very exciting. This patio is amazing. We always come here when we come to this area, so it's very nice. It's a very summer time vibe. I really recommend it. And I'm having my favorite beer, Cornumbra. 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 I don't know how to say it. It's hard. To stop by for some great barbecue, you should try the Break Wall Barbecue and Smokehouse. They're known as one of the original premium smokehouses in Toronto. Taking high cut, high grade meats from local Ontario farms, they make slow smoked meats and their own homemade sauce and herbs. They use just the best ingredients, top of the line equipment, and have a very good service, which you could confirm after trying all this very tasty food. And if you want to grab a delicious lunch or a smaller meal, I also really recommend the Slovak Hut for famous Greek sandwiches. They use all fresh and high-quality ingredients, which you will notice instantly when trying their food. They've been in business for over 25 years, with locations in Burlington, Oakville and Missago. <laughs> I got a lamb souvlak, which came with big chunks of lamb, and a delicious balance of sauce and salad. Altogether, it's been my best souvlak experience. You can also get some delicious gourmet popcorn at the Toronto Popcorn Company. What started off as old-fashioned and movie-style popcorn turned into a wide selection of gourmet flavors. Always fresh and using only premium ingredients, they sell over 50 flavors of gourmet popcorn. Made our journey at this place called the Sweet Oven. The Sweet Oven is a family-owned business from Barry, where you will find the best for the tartas, in my opinion. Nominate the best butter tarts in Canada. They're from, from Barrie, Ontario. Right? They have won the award for the best butter tarts in Canada since 2012. This is their first location in Toronto. They are all handmade from scratch and they make over 20 different flavors of butter tarts. I've tried all of the flavors already. On this day, I decided to try the coconut and chocolate chip one. Uh, which one are you trying the plain? 
this is a plane and wow, I tell you, this caramelized butter that good. Coconuts and chocolate chips. That's good. Mmm. Good. It was cute, but I would say I always prefer the classic plain ones. La Tipperie is an ice cream shop where you will find ice cream, donuts, cheesecake and cookies all dipped. They dip almost everything, as their slogan says. You also can have cheesecakes from the Cheesecake Factory. We tried vanilla soft to serve ice cream, tipping it on our orange sorbet, and the gingerbread taped the cone with the scarred pizzas on top. It's a delicious stuff that you don't want to miss. So what's your best food to try around here? What do you to say is your first choice? We like to go to this place a little bit further east. It's called Bagels on Fire. Nice. They have Montreal-style bagel with oven bake and you can pick a dozen of all varieties. It is awesome. We're gonna end up there at okay. the end of our tour and Perfect. make sure you get yourself a dozen bagels. Yeah, we will. <laughs> I will. And finishing up the tour, as Richard recommended, we are checking out the bagels at Bagels on Fire. Fried break oven and Montreal style bagels. They are baked fresh daily. These are great to start your visit or to take home for tomorrow's breakfast. He told me he always gets at least a dozen of bagels every time he goes there. So I do the same. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.